Hi, my name is Alex Abley and I'm the pastry chef at Railtown Cafe in Vancouver, BC. I'm going to show you how to infuse uh, ganache with uh, Earl Grey tea. We're using um, Russian Earl Grey from tea leaves. So you're going to start with a pot, a spatula, and all your ingredients. We have uh, cream, sugar, chocolate, butter, and a little bit of milk, and my Earl Grey tea. So you start with your cream in your pot and get your pot on medium high heat. Then you're gonna take your tea, one to two teaspoons. Then you're gonna bring this almost to a boil, not quite, and let it steep for three to five minutes, just like you're making tea at home. Just starting to bubble, so I'm gonna shut my heat off and I'm gonna let my tea infuse into the cream. Uh, so when you're making uh, infused ganaches using tea or flowers or herbs, or coffee, you have to be really careful about the weight of your cream after you infuse it because all of those dried ingredients absorb water from the cream. So you have to add liquid back in, otherwise you're adding too much fat from the cream and too much fat from the chocolate and you're gonna split your ganache. So I'm gonna weigh my cream and see how much I lost. So I started out with 125, and right now I have 100. So my tea stole 20% uh, of my water. So I'm gonna use whole milk, and I'm gonna add in that 20% back in. And then now you're gonna reheat it just before a boil. And at this point, you can add your sugar. So our cream hit that crucial temperature. Then we're going to grab a cylindrical vessel and an immersion blender. You pour your infused cream on top, emulsify. And once you have an emulsification, you add your butter. Let me go grab a plate and I'll show you. So what you're looking for in your finished ganache is a smooth, shiny satin finish with very few air bubbles. And that's uh, Earl Grey Tea Ganache.